Hello and welcome to Game Over. Let me give you quickly a sum up of what happened in the last 24 hours leading to the cancellation of the test match. First, when Yogesh Parmar tested positive, the big uh, development happened and the Indian players who had all trained with Yogesh Parmar started to get a little jittery because they had all had proximity with Yogesh Parmar, who is the assistant physio in the absence of Nitin Patel, deputizing for Nitin as the primary physio. So the first thing was lateral flow test for all the Indian players. That was done. All the lateral flow tests came negative and that is when RT-PCR tests were also done for the Indian players. Once the RT-PCR tests were done, a lot of people thought if the RT-PCR test results are negative, then maybe the test match will go on. But that is when the issue happened that the Indian players, a lot of them have their families with them, have wives with them, have kids with them. So they became jittery that the incubation period for COVID is about 3-4 days. If something happens during the test match, what will happen then? That's when the real penny dropped. At around 10 p.m. at night, the COVID test results came negative. But unfortunately, that's when the Indian players thought that if the, some of them become infected in, during the match, they would all be huddled in the same dressing room, would go back to the hotel to wives and children. And if they get infected, children are still unvaccinated and that can result in a catastrophe. It was also thought that if they get uh, positive now, they'll have to go into isolation and then they are supposed to travel to Dubai. All of these considerations were placed before the ECB and the BCCI. Both boards tried to allay fears that with two doses of vaccination, they also have protection. They should go and play in Sri Lanka. The series had gone on. And if you think even after Ravi got positive, Bharat got positive, none of the players actually got positive and the oval test match could be played. So all of these things were said, but the players felt seriously jittery. And, and that was the back channel that kept on uh, almost all night and early this morning when finally you know, it was like, so if something happens, who takes responsibility? That's when the thing broke down. What is the way forward? This remains an incomplete series, not forfeited. This remains an abandoned series. BCCI wants to help the ECB, support the ECB. They want to be in, uh, you know, in, in close partnership with the ECB to try and make up for their losses. They have suggested let's play it next year during the white ball series. Saurav Ganguly will be travelling to the UK on 22nd of uh, September. That's when the decision will probably happen. I think a solution will emerge. That's all I have for you on Game Over. Unfortunate developments, but nonetheless, uh, incredible happenings in the last 24 hours leading to the cancellation. Game Over again tomorrow, same time. Keep watching this space.